Just wanted to let you know that you're the best, my man. Yo, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, Mr. Long Jeans. Hi, Idol. Hey, bro. Alright, let's do this. Oh, come on, brother. We got Bengalis versus Tataris. This is an interesting matchup for sure. Not one you'd see every day. It's absolutely not a tournament matchup. Confess, my dude. Thank you, Amens. Go help the YouTube numbers or stay on stream. You can do both. You can pause the stream or just like mute it and then watch the YouTube video. Now that is the perfect way to do it. <clears throat> uh, how old are you, uh, Buck Clown, by the way? Just out of curiosity. Uh, hello, Claire Noir. Oh my god, tier 3 for 5 months. Let's go, man. Thank you so much. That's incredible. Really appreciate that, bro. One of my, I think less than a dozen tier threes. Respect. Twenty one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's uh, like I I feel what you're saying at that age. Like it's uh you want to go for the funny, like outgoing, energetic guy. You have to understand for the AB two community, most uh, the most like age range is actually twenty five to thirty five or to forty. So a lot of people in this range they don't care about the. Uh, like the trash talk and the yelling and the and the toxicity that you you might find entertaining, no one really cares about that. So like, and that's not really who I am anyway. So it's like if I if I or anyone else tries to do that and they fake it just for the views, a it's gonna be like very forced, and b it's not gonna do well. Um, I, I I've had I've had the most success just being myself, and that's a, like. Don't don't overthink it. Like the stream personality of being like over the top and stuff, that's really hard to do. That's really really hard to do. And I think you can only really commit to it if you have an audience that's like 100% buying into it. Because no one is actually like that, right? Or at least let's say it's very rare to find someone actually like that. It's, it's just an act, right? It's an exaggerated persona. Um, but anyway, uh, Zeta two, thanks for the tier one sub. Really appreciate it, bro. Welcome to the stream. But I, I was also, like, that age not too long ago, like, you know, finding that amusing as well. So, like, I definitely can relate. Current image, stream personality is really good, Hera. I mean, it's just myself, honestly. I, I think the good and bad is just me being myself anyway. So, it's not... It's it's good that, that it's like that, because I don't have to go on stream and be like, you know, deep breath, let me act now. I gotta act a certain way. I just go on stream and say whatever, you know? Sometimes I say the wrong things, usually it's all good. Sometimes I say something that's really good. You know, it just it, it it's like real life, it's ups and downs, and that's good. Hello old monk, what's up? Hello, Zikurama. Do you agree with doubt assessment, GL podcast, that none of the young current younger players has the potential to break into top four? You can't see the new Hera and new Leary from the current generation. Oh, I did not I did not listen to that podcast yet. Is, is it worth listening to? I'm sure it is. Like I think doubt is uh Definitely a guy you want to listen to. I'm gonna wall that side fast. Cause I might as well play a bit more of a slower, slower-ish approach. Like a 21 pop sounds pretty good. Um, I didn't hear that, but that's really interesting. Um, you know why that's really interesting? Because Viper, sorry, Doubt called Viper being a top player when Viper was still like younger-ish. He knew Viper was gonna be like the top. I don't think he called me. I don't think he was gassing me up before my time. Um, I think he called Leary. Uh, it, oh, he also called you an NEC three back in 2020. Okay, then he called me as well. Yeah. So that that's been calling all the top players basically before they become top. So if he's saying that, then that's actually a pretty big, pretty big deal. I'm not sure if I necessarily agree. Maybe it's a bit too early to tell, but I would definitely respect his opinion a lot on that matter. 
Yeah, I, I really popped off in DE. To be honest, a lot of the things aligned perfectly for me. Like, it was a lot of luck uh, that, that let me pop off so fast. A lot, a lot of luck involved. Like, DE coming out and me being a, a, a top streamer already, or like, not a top streamer, but an active streamer. Ah, it's terrible. And uh, me having guides, I think it just aligned to grow my channel so much. I have to run away now. He's on uh, gold, so that's good to know. We might open just skirms. We're playing defensive, right? We're going to play a defensive opening. With the two extra bills, it should be really, really smooth. Hope he doesn't find my scout. I don't think me losing my scout is that big a deal. It's fine. Shouldn't matter too much. Oh. LFG. Wrath of regret. What's up, man? I want to see what he's going to do after. There is a chance he does stable and that could be kind of, you know, problematic. Uh, that's bad. Wow, that's really bad. Why are they doing so much damage? He's like hit, hitting all his shots. Alright, I lost three bills. That's terrible. Yeah, at least we got that. Yeah, that was really bad. I just completely didn't expect him to run in like that. That's okay. I think it's definitely not... Nothing we can't manage. Uh... I mean, it's actually weird, like, I lost three bills, but I still feel like my economy is running perfectly fine. Since I got the extra two, and I'm just opening, like, skirms. It, I think it's completely fine, to be honest. This is okay. Now, this is not, uh, ACCM. This, this actually might be the second best Vietnamese player right now, though. His name is Quang Tree. Yeah, he's, he's really good, honestly. Like, when, when I play him, I feel like he's got good skills, you know? Good mechanics and all that. Uh, by the way, uh, would you guys watch if this Friday I try to organize Among Us with the AV2 community? It's going to be a pain to organize, so I'm, I want to see what the interest for that is, is like. I might do it just because I, I, I feel like playing Among Us. Uh, if people want to watch, that would be like a, a, another plus. I'll try to organize it then. I'm hoping for some AM members, some GL members, and then a few other guys that I, I get along with and I, and I know. That should be pretty good. All day, Schmidt style. Also, one hundred percent yes to Among Us. <laughs> Let's go, man. All right, I'm gonna try to organize it this Friday. My reasoning is Friday evening. I'm usually like uh, not doing much, not really streaming. So I, I might instead uh, look to do Among Us. And usually, there's no big event like Friday anyway, right? So. I think it's a good day to include some variety for the stream. I gotta walk the spearman with these skirms in case he's got uh he needs to go to wood. In case he's got a stable. I gotta be careful because yeah, they've got hill bonus there. Alright, 
All right, we sacrifice this guy to close the gap on this guy and kill him. Nice. All right, not bad. Reasonable. Uh, now we're gonna go blacksmith just to continue developing. I also want the house here just to prevent him from just sitting right up close and shooting me with archers again. And I guess we play something like Skirm Monk and boom. Very, very passive game. We're very far apart anyway. Uh, no reason to do anything else than this. <clears throat> Isn't it good Friday on Friday? People might be busy for Easter. Uh, I think that's okay, honestly. That's fine. Probably don't need that many on uh, gold. Now we just sit back and chill. The worst part about this is I can't scout. Let's make one spirit to scout his base and then we'll just chill. That guy can heal up in the meantime. We got the armor and fletching. Gotta get Mem on there. Ooh, does Mem know how to play Among Us? That could be really fun. <laughs> Mem on Among Us would actually be hilarious. Uh, I'll try to get as many people as I possibly can. See who I can fit in. I see a pro Among Us player. No, you were not, Roxy. Bruh. <laughs> what were you good at? Were you good at imposter? Both. And both, okay. Oh, he's going scouts. Okay. Say what Roxy was a savage at Among Us. I remember you being a good guesser with, with the civilians. Now I remember you always skipped your task though. You were not a task doer. You were a uh, you were an imposter finder. I'm a task doer. Nilia, Nilia in there would be great. I can ask him for sure. Nilia would be a task doer for sure. That German, that German work spirits. Yeah, exactly. But Roxy's not on task duty, but she'll find the killers. Exactly. She's like Sherlock, good detective. Bit lazy on the task though, but you need someone like that. Oh my God, disaster. All right. At the same time, he has stable, so I expect Prosperous to come now. I'll get the lead scrim right away in this. I'll get Monastery right away, just to play it safe. And I want one TC right away. Um, Probably here. It's not that pretty, but keep an eye on the upgrades now. Why is he doing that? Is he sacrificing? That house is crucial. Still lost a lot of bills though, honestly. I'm not sure. Like that felt pretty worth it for him. Uh, let me pick up some relics. I need to make this monastery worth it. 30 C right away to recover some of the bill count I lost. I mean, this is a defense only game, basically. Let's see if I can make it work. That's kind of it for the Tatars, though. Like, they don't really have anything past the early castle power spike that I have to really be worried about. Uh... Oh. Siege push does make things tricky, though. Yeah, that's on my only wood line for now. Uh... Ouch, started off pretty bad there. It's just attack grounding. Got a micro as much as I can.
It was really hard for first game of the day. I have no wood, this is terrible. Gotta run, man. This is a disaster. I think we might just lose. Ah, oh, shit. It's over. It's, uh, it's actually over. We lost. Yeah, it's easy on the front cost in the game. trade
Hard game. Ooh, what a disaster, man. I'm gonna have to cast to drop him. I, I can't have this be a one way ticket. Oh, actually, I can cast a drop here. Uh, that, that, that's enough. Just get it's enough value. Check so be a problem. Oh, shoot, they didn't even realize he was going for those guys. Ah, it's terrible, man. I have a real unit on the field for once. That's a good shot. Ah, not quite. Ah, not bad. I don't think Rata would be enough. I just can't stop freaking light cav. Nice, that's good. Oh, oh, if he had its castle there, I mean, we can't do much about that. Actually, I can hit him a little bit.
I'm really not the best at this stuff. Nor this unit. And the unit is apparently not the best either. Fiesta. Yeah, I get bloodlines. You go for that one there. You have a few more elephants though. Because if I go all in castle and I, I have to break a shit. If I go all in castle and don't kill a lot, then I'm big time screwed. Oh shit. I wasted all my conversions on one. On my juice. Catch him more off guard. Oh shit, he sees me. That is the, the problem I'm talking about. I hate using these rattles, man. They're so annoying. I can't tell what, what the form they're in, if they're in range or melee.
We're dead, guys. For two months of age of mythology, Allo 411. Nah, we're dead. Yeah. God, Wrath is the most clunky unit in the game. It's so hard to use. I, you just don't know if it's in melee, if it's in range. I was missing the unique tech as well. And that was just a crazy game, man. So much action. Like all 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 game we're just fighting 24-7 in five different locations. Well played, Mr. Hope. Mr. Quang Tree. Oh, he's a solid player. Yeah, I mean I didn't see the siege push coming. That takes me back to the spearman. Should have sent that guy forward or something. Look around for the siege workshop. <laughs> 